What is growing on? This is a little bit of a what's ripening or time to harvest video and it is time to get our sweet potatoes out of the ground. We planted these in June and typically sweet potatoes are about 110 to 120 day crop. In the meantime, we've been eating some leaves, but right now we're actually finally harvesting the small potato patch. Nick's out here and I figured I'd show you guys what we're doing, how we're doing it, what we're gonna do with them and what's going on here next. Stay tuned. Oh, got the crates on standby. And I don't think we got a ton of ton of potatoes, but we will see. Oh. And it's like digging for Easter eggs in here. We got some purples, we got some orange ones. These ones I think are the pure purple, purple on purple. That is an orange variety. Hey, what's going on over here? Some sweet potatoes. Cutting some strips, rolling some rows. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's not the greatest harvest, but for minimal gardening, it's not bad, I guess. We'll take it, protecting yeah. the soil, huh? Hope yeah. Cover crop? Yeah. What's Help going them. on here next, Nick? Uh, we'll top off all the mulch with some manure, and then probably some nice compost, and then this will all become market garden area again. How about this trellis? I'm gonna cut all the beans today at the ground level, let them finish drying on the um, trellis so we can harvest the few that are left. We're saving them for seed. And then uh, all the nylon netting is going to come down and new stuff will go up and this will all be, uh, what was I going to do? Sugar snap peas. Sugar snap peas. They're already ready to go, aren't they? Yeah, they've been ready. They're screaming to go in the yeah. ground. I wanted to give the sweet potatoes a little longer just to see if they can put a little extra size on. but. A lot of them ended up cracking. I think that was from just getting dry there towards the end of season? Yeah, dry and then water and then dry and yeah. All they of a sudden don't like we're that. a little dry. It's been a couple <clears throat> weeks since we got rain, huh? Hurricane? The last drop of rain was when Ian hit. Jeez. We're almost November 1st too. What's today for everybody? 26. Yeah. Okay. What is there a curing process here? What are we gonna do? I don't know, what do you think? Putting them in the greenhouse? What do they say, 10 days or something? Something like that. Sweetens yeah. them up a bit. Yeah. Gets a little bit of that starchiness out. Yeah. All right. Cures the skin so they don't scratch up as easily. I think I'm going to come back once we get all this up, see how many potatoes we got. Hey, you're not going to come out here and help? Oh, I guess I could come out. <laughs> all right, fine. I guess I should help them. All right, all the vines are up. Now we're over here digging for Easter eggs. What kind of uh, pro tools are you using here today, Nick? What? Yep, that's it. Fancy, fancy, huh? I know. Limited edition. I'm pretty sure Jim uses a thick piece of mulch. Really? Yeah, like a piece of wood. Oh, that'd probably help. Do you think we got more in here still? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this whole half I just rolled the vines and didn't dig. Okay. So anything on the surface, well, most of it's actually there. but. Anything that was on the surface just came up with the vines, but there's a lot of little ones left and some big ones that didn't get pulled up. Well, you got three, four crates already? One, two, two in the back of the cart? Four, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sweet potatoes. Lots of uglies. Lots of uglies. We're gonna need a lot of nice. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Thanks for the reminder. Calling the poop lady. Yeah. Oh! Got a couple more crates right here. All right, got sweet potatoes. Anybody can grow these. Look at that beauty. So we got a kind of a purple with the white flash. And then we've got the purple flash. Pretty cool. You eat sweet potatoes? Hey, you eat sweet potatoes? Nope. Nope. Not having it. All right, so there's that sweet potato harvest. We actually did a lot better than we thought we were gonna do. Um, weighed a couple of these crates. They average about 35 to 40 pounds a piece. And we ended up with, uh, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight crates. So 
Not too bad for a small area. Could have probably doubled production with a little bit of irrigation, but I'll take it. These are gonna head into the greenhouse. We're gonna leave them in there for about seven to 10 days for that curing process. Hopefully take some of that starch out. And Nick is already over there cutting back the trellis, amending the soil. Got some more compost coming today and that area is getting planted next, so stay tuned. Guys, if you haven't planted sweet potatoes, super, super easy crop to grow. Um, thrives on neglect. You can eat the leaves, you can eat the roots. They don't, they're not all just like that common sweet potato. So if you don't like that orange sweet potato, try a boñata. Um, try one of the purple ones. There's so many different types that are more like a regular potato and they just thrive on neglect and that's what's most important. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to smack that like button. Most importantly guys, it's 2022. Start a garden. Get that food forest planned out. Pound some dirt.